You are going to this art class and you don't want to do French. You will do this French and you will do it to the end. And I'm like, what? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Yemi C. And today, obviously from the title, you already know what we're going to be talking about. But before that, just look at this beauty. Gosh, given what it's supposed to be given, <laughs> you can't find this beauty in the market. You know, people are actually said, go take down the marché. It's not possible. No, pas du tout possible. Just look at this forehead. It's given what it's supposed to be given. <laughs> given jealousy. I beg, I beg, you don't do. Firstly, I would just like to say, if you are a new subscriber, I film about language, lifestyle, and my real life experiences. So today is one of those days where I'm filming about language and at the same time experiences. So this video is actually born out of the fact that people ask me, okay, let me see why. Is this faith or fate? You know, sometimes you just find yourself in some kind of career path that people just ask you, like, how did you get here? Or how did you, you know, do it? What's your journey like? How was your journey like? I have to answer that in this video. So now let me tell you guys the truth. Please, I need to drink water because the story, <laughs> it affects me sometimes. But anyway, let's start this story now before you guys start just grab a cup of water a cup of juice a cup of anything you feel relaxed with just carry and let's start please if you know that you have not subscribed now is the right time click on that subscribe button just click on it and subscribe to the channel so i will start by saying that we all know like that is just a fact that most of the decisions we make from age 0 to age 16 are basically influenced by the people around us most especially our parents right so i just want to get that straight because i mean when you're young from zero to seven you basically don't have the the knowledge the skill to like make certain sort of decisions at that point i mean a child of seven years old doesn't basically even know how to take a decision it has to be the parent or a guardian that has to like you know tell the child what to do and with time you have to grow to a certain level where you begin to make your decisions yourself you can take a decision right now and regret it later you can take a decision right now and you will enjoy your life later so every decision you make i mean it has to be born out of the fact that where is this decision taking me to is it going to be useful for me tomorrow this decision i'm taking is it going to be useful for me in the next two to five years or ten years basically you have to ask yourself those questions everything you do both career both professional both um relationship wise in the relationship aspect self when you are young and you went to go and fall in love i mean it will form the way you actually perceive love now if you grew up in a home that you had all the love all the care it will form the way you actually treat your own children in the future everything is connected they are intertwined with each other interconnected if you know what i mean so in my own case i would say from the last video i made in the get to know me tag i know i said something about um i never wanted to be a science student i wanted to be an art student so now it was just a decision that i would say that i knew that i wanted to be in art class i don't know how but i just knew so now starting the classes i realized that we had to make a choice of subject and i think if i can remember i think ss1 we had to do up to like 14 or 16 subjects i'm not really sure but around that number of subjects actually and i was like should i choose french or not seeing that almost everybody out of i think we're like almost more than 400 in my own set alone and i'm like should i choose to study french because this one that people are not picking this course why is it now me do i have coconut head i picked the course jejeli and <laughs> i was doing it so when it got to the time for exams i'm like i'm not going to write this thing in my final ss1 exam i remember at the end of that term it was time for to go home for the holidays and stuff so i was so eager and so happy that oh my gosh this term was so good i got a's and i got b's and i'm like i have to show my parents my results <laughs> little did i know little did i know that i'm gonna be dragged in the merge i took my report is it report card oh my jesus i took my 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 results home to my parents hoping that these people will be so happy that their daughter have passed this exam i gave my dad my results let me just use this as an example so i gave my result like this let's say this is my results card he was not looking at it like 
all the aid that I wasn't expecting him to say, oh, you did wear my daughter. He was just looking at it. I was like, you people don't do language in your school. I said, yes, I'm doing Nigerian language. And then Nigerian language is either you do Igbo, Yoruba, or Hausa. Those are the three basic languages in Nigeria that they teach in secondary school. So I was doing Yoruba at the time. So it was like, it's not Yoruba I'm talking about. I'm talking about like French or something like that. I said, ah, like, I'm, I'm doing French, but I did not do it for the exam. He was like, why would you be in arts class and you will not do French? I was mind blown. Like, how does arts class and French relate? People that are in arts class want to be a lawyer. We want to be a, a mass communicator. We want to be a what? I don't know. He was like, you have to do French as a language. Why will you be in arts class and you're not doing French? I can't remember. And I'm like, girl, you're gonna study French. This was it. This, these people were legit, legit serious that men, their daughter must do French. You are going to this arts class and you don't wanna do French. You will do this French and you will do it to the end. And I'm like, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. African parents are there. They do the extreme things. This was just the beginning of the many things that were going to happen afterwards. So guys, stick to the end of this video. I'm going to tell you guys what happened. I need to drink a cup of water right now because even me say, thinking about it now, I need to drink more water because my head is already doing like this. Now, let's continue. So now, we all know that that is one was the first step in that class so i had like three two more classes to go right that's ss1 ss2 ss3 so now i started the ss1 and then i just had to add french anyhow for the next semester and then i continued now ss3 is where you have the qualifying exams you do the jam you do the wike you do the neko i don't know wike is like the west african examination council jam jam was joint admission matriculation board NECO was National Examination Council something. Now I had to, you know, write the final exams that year. The exams I was going to do around that period were, were exams that would determine if I was going to get into the university that year. I don't know, send me again. I went to go and remove French again. See where I get coconut edge? <laughs> because I don't know, I was like, what would I be using French for? Because there were other subjects. I was not even sure that. Am I even ready? I'm not even. I don't even know which kind of question they will even ask. I don't need it in my final exam to come and spoil my results. I cannot be having A A A or B B B or C C C and I come and not have one E, one F. If you get what that what I was thinking at that time. So I don't know how this woman appeared again and then she came and she was like. I have to do French for my final exams and I'm like, ma'am, you're doing too much at this point. So I was like, no, mommy, you're doing too much. You're already doing too much. This is too much. Eh, eh. You don't do. It is me. It's my life. And I was like, okay. Do you know this woman literally dragged me to the guidance and counseling office? And then she went there and then she told the woman that my daughter has to write French in her final exams. And okay, in order for us to come to a final conclusion, she now said, since I had two exams, apart from the jam, that's the next one, like, since I had two choices now, you have to do French and one. I don't want it to be my work. Let it be my neko. So that's how I did the work. And then I ended up, you know, doing the French for my, for my final exam. So finding out now that um, I had to do this in my secondary school and now in my university, it just made sense. That's when my brain just started to click that, oh, this is why that these people have been telling me to do this French thing. So now it just added up and just made more sense that, oh my gosh, what if I didn't do this thing in my secondary school? And funny enough, like because I even chose in the university, like it was French language and we had to present a certificate, secondary school certificate that shows that you did French language. And that was how I used the examination that I didn't want to write. That is what I now used to enter the university. So guys, anything your parents tell you, anything the elderly people tell you when you are young, and I'm sure you guys, if you are watching this video and you are like 25 and above, definitely when you have your own children too, when you have your own 
your girl won you would definitely want to be, play a part in whatever decision they're going to make the french that i forsook is the french that is now appearing to my face now so you now be like film trick if i could see the end from the beginning i would have not known i could have never i could have never known or i could have never known i could have never known english i would have never known that this french is what we even be giving me money today or this French is even what you make me what I am today guys anytime your parents tell you something please don't have coconut head mm? because coconut head we know the year word no nothing go long in life so you have to listen to the people that are elderly you don't like you are independent I'm not arguing with you I'm not saying that my brother and my sister I'm not arguing with you that you don't have the right to be independent still listen to the people around you listen to your parents you never know where it can take you in the future so I'm still so grateful to God for my parents for even like pushing me doing everything they did just for me to do the French and then today like oh my gosh you guys don't want to hear me speak the French. En fait, par exemple, je ne savais pas de tout que je parlerais le français comme je le fais aujourd'hui et je suis si reconnaissante à la persuasion qui est venue de la part de mes parents. I'm so grateful for um, the things that my parents did, persuading me to actually learn French language while I was young because now it just makes sense and everything just adds up. And I hope that you guys have learned something from this um, talk today. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you watch the end of this video, you're the real MVP. And if you know you've been in similar situation before, like maybe when you were younger and you had to make a decision, and maybe your parents or somebody else, like somebody an elderly person, influenced your decision making, please let me know in the comments and let me know how you handled it and what you have gained from it in years after. So let's discuss. I'll be sitting down with my cup of water in the comment section waiting for you. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your audience. Thank you for your time. I love you guys so much. Please, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Click on the button and subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned in the, to this channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.